Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last week, Microsoft started rolling out the third wave of new features for Windows 11 version 22H2, which was also referred to and known as the Moment 3 update. Now, I did post on that, uh, on the update, which brought numerous new features to uh, Windows 11 22H2, and I'll leave a link down below to that video if you'd like some more info. Now, um, if we head to update history, the update was KB5026446, as previously mentioned. But this update was actually the bug fix update, the optional bug fix update that rolled out. But if you did have this setting turned on, as I mentioned in that previous video, get the latest updates as soon as they're available, if you had that turned on. Then if we head back to update history, um, it would then download and install this Windows configuration update, which included the third wave of new features and brought all the new features to Windows 11 referred to as the Moment 3 update. And if you didn't have the setting turned on, then all uh, that would happen if you did install the update, it would just bring non-security bug fixes that were part of KB5026446. Now, because all the hype last week was around the new features, um, we didn't focus too much on any of the non-security bug fixes that did roll out with the update. So just to focus on those quickly, uh, a little bit late, but nonetheless, better late than never. And just to keep you updated and in the loop as to the optional bug fix updates that did roll out um, for Windows 11 version 22H2 last week on the 24th of May. Now, we're not focusing on any new features. I have posted on that. And as mentioned, that video is down below. But just to go through the bug fixes. Now, um, if we head back to the settings accessibility narrator, um, Narrator is a screen reader that describes what's on your screen. And the update addresses an issue that affects uh, the narrator. It now announces text attributes correctly for words such as misspelled, deletion change, and comment. So um, that's a bug fix that's rolled out for the accessibility feature narrator with the update. And then a fix has also rolled out for Internet Explorer mode, which seems to be getting a lot of fixes between Windows 10 and Windows 11. Um, the update addresses an issue that affects access to tab settings for Internet Explorer mode sites. And there's also a multifunction label printer issue fix. Apparently, um, it affects the installation of some of them. So that's a fix rolling out for multifunction label printer printers. And there's also an audio playback issue that's been addressed. Apparently, audio playback was failing on devices that have certain processes. And um, the update also addresses an issue that affects the touch keyboard. There's actually two touch keyboard fixes that have rolled out. Um, apparently, it shows the wrong layout for the French Canadian language. And the next one, the next fix for touch keyboard is um, sometimes it does not show the correct layout based on the current input scope. So that's two bug fixes that rolled out with the update for touch keyboard. And then the last key highlight, just to mention, um, the update addresses an issue that affects the Chinese and Japanese input method editor when you search within the emoji panel using Windows key and period. So as you know, you can launch the emoji panel by using a Windows key and the period key, and that launches the emoji panel. And uh, um, if you are um, using Chinese and Japanese input method editor, search might fail for some of you if you are using the emoji panel in search. So the search in the emoji panel. So that's a bit of an update that's rolled out there with a bug fix. Now, those were the key highlights. And because this is a non-security and was a non-security update, it also includes some other quality improvements. So if you do want to stick around, um, just to mention a couple. Um, uh, the first is the update addresses an issue that affects server message block SMB. Apparently, you couldn't access the SMB shared folder and the errors were not enough memory resources or insufficient system resources. And it also addresses an issue that affects the local security authority subsystem service, LSASS. Apparently, that stopped working. And uh, um, if we head to our Windows tools and we head over to the event viewer, which is part of the maintenance um, tools that are available uh, in Windows 10 and Windows 11, there are two event uh, viewer fixes that have rolled out. So if you have, have experienced any issues using event viewer, there are two fixes that have rolled out for that. And there's also a memory leak that's been addressed. Apparently, this memory leak was occurring every time you print a rich text document. And um, the update addresses an issue that affects devices that have multiple discrete GPUs, graphics processing units, 
Uh, you couldn't choose the high performance GPUs from the default graphics settings page. And there are two Windows firewall fixes that have rolled out. So if you ever have had any issues regarding your firewall uh, in Windows 11 22H2, then just make sure um, that obviously this update is applied. And there's also a stop error fix with the NTFS file system. And a stop error fix is a fix for a blue screen of death. So that's more or less that did roll out um, for the update, as mentioned, which was part of the Moment 3 update. But as mentioned, did include those important bug fixes. And that update was KB5026446. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.